This Pokemon's sinister, flame-like aura will consume the spirit of any creature it hits. Victims become burned-out shadows of themselves. The Pokedex Sword Version Moltres is a rubber chicken someone set on fire. Stacy Henley in the article, Moltres is the most boring legendary Pokemon on thegamer.com. We just hit the 25th anniversary of Pokemon Gold and Silver, and I was excited because I remembered that I'd done a drawing of Ho-Oh. Then I realized I'd actually drawn a different overlooked fire type legendary bird, Moltres. That's okay, though. Moltres is pretty interesting. Sort of a red-headed stepchild of legendary birds. I often think of the prototypical OP Gen 1 Pokemon team consisting of Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, Zapdos, Articuno, and Mewtwo. Maybe Pikachu instead of Zapdos if we're talking about yellow version. Did other people keep Moltres on their team? Fire-type Pokemon are usually considered the coolest. What was wrong with Moltres? And even if we lump in Gen 2, Lugia is an all-time fan favorite. And while Ho-Oh is definitely not as popular as Lugia, Ho-Oh is immortalized in the first episode of the Pokemon anime. I know that when I first played, someone told me that Moltres wasn't good. I'm wondering if there might be some correlation between anti-Moltres sentiment and the fact that there was already a flying fire type on many players' teams with Charizard. I did double check that the perception of Moltres wasn't just one of those weird things that came from my personal experience in the echo chamber of the Hilliard Station 6th grade building. And I found a Reddit thread from a few years ago that mentioned some of Moltres's mechanical failings, as well as that article I quoted earlier from thegamer.com. The aforementioned article points out that Articuno is hidden in the Seafoam Islands and Zapdos is in an abandoned power plant that's off the beaten path. But Moltres is just sitting there in Victory Road. Impossible to miss. And the Reddit thread uh, focused more on the Gen 1 moveset. And I think I did run into this in my original playthrough way back in the day. I remember that I skipped Seafoam Islands on that playthrough, uh, flying back to Pallet Town and doubling back uh, by surfing to Cinnabar Island that way. Uh, so Moltres was actually the first legendary Pokemon that I ever caught. And boy, does it learn some rough moves. It only ever learns five different moves from leveling. Peck, Leer, Fire Spin, Agility, and Sky Attack. It doesn't and cannot learn Flamethrower. The only Fire-type TM available is Fire Blast, which isn't terrible, but wouldn't be my go-to choice for a Fire-type move. For Flying in Gen 1, the go-to move is Fly, which is fine, but learning Peck instead of Drill Peck is still not ideal. Also, apparently, there's a Galarian Moltres that is Dark-type. I'm on the record as going back and forth on regional variants in general. I think they're a sign that folks are running out of good ideas for new Pokemon, but there are also some variants that I'm on board with. Introducing a regional variant of a legendary is kind of rough, though. If I'm to believe that when I catch Moltres, that's the one and only Moltres from all of the stories, it's a little tough to square that with multiple versions of the same Pokemon. I guess you could argue that it's actually a race of Pokemon and they're just really rare, uh, you know, sort of like how some people think about the Loch Ness Monster. Not a hill I'm willing to die on, just something I have to get used to. At the end of the day, Moltres is still a fire-type legendary bird in a game without too many great fire types. It's also a Pokemon that can learn fly, and if you're like me and always boxed Moltres back in the day, it's a great candidate for your Elite Four team in a modern playthrough if you want to try something different. Until next time, remember that you are the very best, like no one ever was.